Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron. My name is Paula. Today is the next in the Wicca 301 divination set of videos that I'm working on. This is the video on the suit of pentacles. Um, there will be one more video that will be about some general spreads uh, that you can do and kind of a reader's code of ethics. Okay, that will be the last video in this series. So remember that um, the suit of pentacles is ruled by the element earth and that includes Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So it can mean people that are of that zodiac sign or it can mean that period of time in the year, that time of year where the, that zodiac sign is the sun sign. So the pentacles, with it being earth, this is about fertility, abundance, your wealth, your um, home, keeping a roof over your head, your job, your career, things like that. Things that are normally associated in your magical wor workings with elemental earth, okay? Remember, aces are a call to action. That is that element's raw power. Ace of pentacles in the upright position is about manifestation, a new financial opportunity, a new business, prosperity, and trusting each other, like in a partnership, okay? In the reverse position, it's a lost opportunity, it's a lack of planning and foresight, okay? The two of pentacles in the upright position is about balance, adaptability, time management, prioritizing things, and kind of creative financing. You see the guy there with the two coins and he's like flopping them back and forth. It's literally like you're in a situation where you got to rob Peter to pay Paul, okay? In the reverse position, it's about disorganization and financial disarray. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that at one point in our lives for sure. Uh, the three of pentacles in the upright position is about teamwork, fulfillment, collaboration with someone, learning, and having a very stable marriage or relationship. Okay, In the reverse position, there is a lack of teamwork and there is a disregard for skills, for your skill set. Okay, so in other words, you're probably not being appreciated at work and they're not letting you rise to your full potential because they don't think you have potential. The Four of Pentacles in the upright position um, is the control, stability, security, and conservation. I kind of call it the mine, 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 all mine, and you can't have it card. So that's how I kind of um, relate to this card especially in the reverse position because that's about greed, materialism, and self-protection. The Five of Pentacles. This is one of the most dreaded cards in the tarot deck. Um, in the upright position, it's about isolation, it's insecurity, it's worry, it's financial loss, it's poverty, it's the Murphy's Law card where your finances are concerned. Okay, it is literally the bankruptcy card, okay, where you're going to feel like I have no other choice but to declare bankruptcy or as it, in a spiritual reading, it can mean that you're feeling completely spiritually bankrupt and detached from a higher power, okay, because, you know, the woman and child are on the outside of the church looking in, okay? So the next is the Six of Pentacles. In the upright position, it's about generosity, charity, giving, sharing the wealth, having to ask for help, um, and sharing the wealth. In the reverse position, it's about debt, selfishness, and one-sided charity. The Seven of Pentacles in the upright position is a vision having long-term vision, um, perseverance, profit, making a profit. Maybe you've had a business and this could be the first year that you're making a real substantial profit at it. Um, it's also about reward 
investment and taking stock of your not only your finances but your house your household and I don't mean like material goods but I mean taking stock about what's going on in your household being very um, it's about taking a really hard look at things that are going on especially with money and keeping the roof over your head all right the seven of Pentacles in the reverse position is lack of long-term uh, vision and limited success or reward okay the eight of Pentacles in the upright position is an apprenticeship it's paying attention to detail it's education it's quality focusing on quality um, and it can re also represent an engagement okay um, you you see the man is there and he's he's working di diligently reproducing these coins over and over so this card real in the upright position is telling you to pay attention okay especially where your money is concerned in the reverse it's where you take it too far where you're such a perfectionist or someone where an area where you are lacking focus or lacking ambition okay the nine of Pentacles in the upright position it's about gratitude luxury being self-sufficient and a culmination of things in the reverse position it's about over investment in work that work life balance and having set financial setbacks the ten of Pentacles in the upright card in the upright position this is what I call the coaching card when it's in the upright position uh, or the Wall Street card um, it's about wealth inheritance family um, your retirement putting down roots and really having yourself established okay in the reverse position it's financial failure it's loneliness loss or it's even in a love reading a distance between a couple page of Pentacles pages and Knights are usually messengers of some kind but they can also mean a younger person a page would be a younger person earth signs or it can be someone who possesses these personality traits okay that's a younger person in the upright position it's about manifestation um, it's a financial opportunity it's telling you to have faith and it's about a new job coming around the corner okay in the reversed position it's you're getting bit in the butt because you had a short-term focus and you should have focused on uh, long-term planning and it's also a lack of progress or a lack of planning on your part okay like you haven't planned for that rainy day where your refrigerator breaks down and you've got to buy a new refrigerator what the hell do you do right um, the nine of Pentacles in the upright position it's about efficiency routine concert being conservative um, methodical and also can mean that you are a workaholic all right in the reverse position it's someone who's lazy it's a sense of boredom or it's you feeling stuck like you you are just in the most boring mundane job in the world and you can't wait to get out of there okay the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position um, is usually referring to a woman of the earth signs it's about being practical um, having a home focus it's someone who's very motherly down to earth and a sense of security in the reverse position it's an imbalance in work and life commitments okay the king of Pentacles in the upright posi position is usually you know a contemporary or older male or someone with these personality traits in the upright position it's about sense of security control power discipline abundance this is someone who has the Midas touch okay and it's also telling you to look at your finances and if you have like any kind of investments or anything like that it's telling you to take a look at it because you may need to you know move some stuff around 
I know I was looking at the stock market the other day and I said, oh lordy, I need to move some some money around because this, this is not happening here. I don't like it when I lose money. Uh, in the reverse position, it's someone who is very authoritative, domineering, and controlling. Okay. So with that, my friends, that's it for this video. There is a link to a Google Doc in the description box. Uh, for the meanings of all of the tarot cards, feel free to click on it and print it out, whatever. I'm fine with that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And as I always say, my friends, merry we did meet, merry we will part until we merry meet again. Be well and walk in light, everybody. Bye.